When President Donald Trump ordered a targeted strike on that military base in Syria, he demonstrated swift, certain, and decisive leadership, absent for so long in America. His clarity, determination, and compassion for the most weak among us, without the accustomed indifference, whimpering, dithering, vacillating, moral equivalency of the other guy, reflects not only his courage, strength, and honor, but finally, the resurgence and the reawakening of America the Great. This is what we voted for. And now, it's time for the Republicans in Congress to learn from our Commander-in-Chief, to put on their big boy pants and start learning how to fight like our leader. You're in Congress to get things done, not fight publicly over things like health care bills that should have been resolved before you trumpeted the hidden treasure you apparently never had. The president needs a team behind him, one that doesn't step aside every time a Democrat complains or accuses you of something. Can't you see you're being played in their united front against President Trump? Their ability to create partisan sideshows amounting to nothing more than distractions are worthy of Houdini. It was Nancy Pelosi who allowed left-wing outside activist groups to make congressional ethics complaints. All this craziness about Trump-Russian collusion is debunked by Obama National Intelligence Director Clapper, former acting CIA Director Mike Morrell and Democratic House Intelligence Chair Adam Schiff. Yet take a look. Michael Flynn, National Security Advisor, gone. Because among other things, his name unmasked improperly, if not illegally, by Susan Rice. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, a man of the highest honor and integrity, who sat across a table from a Russian just like Nancy Pelosi did, has recused himself from overseeing an FBI inquiry into Russian efforts. And now, Congressman Devin Nunes recuses himself from leading the House investigation because of complaints by left-wing activists in spite of the fact that there is by all accounts absolutely no evidence of any collusion the democratic spiteful united front against the president simply complain and nunez wimps out what is wrong with the republicans even fbi director jim comey reportedly not cooperating with anyone now he's on his own query hillary clinton and her husband were cashing in on the sale of U.S. uranium to Russia. Money, cash, was actually crossing hands. Where was the Republican outrage, the hearings, the demand for recusals, the ethics investigations? Susan Rice lied about Benghazi, Bo Bergdahl, knowing nothing about the unmasking of Michael Flynn, and days later admitting she did unmask, but it wasn't for political purposes. In 2014, she says all chemical weapons stockpiled in Syria removed. Guess not. And if you need more, Rice was director of African Affairs during the genocide of 800,000 in Rwanda, and she objected to the word genocide because of the effect it might have on the Democratic midterm elections. The woman is a liar. These are liars with no shame, no remorse, no accountability, and no recusals. You Republicans have allowed it, and now you're buckling to these partisan sideshows, taking away from our president the support that he needs to get the job done. He's shown you how to do it. So now strap in, buck up, and start fighting like your leader. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.